This is News Nation Now. Good morning. Welcome to News Nation Now. I'm Alexandra Bush. It is Sunday, March 7th, and here's everything you need to know this morning. The $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief bill is one step away from passing in Congress. Senators passed the bill after working through the night yesterday. Now the revised bill is headed back to the House for a final vote, then to President Biden's desk this coming week for his signature. News Nation's research team looked into each part of the package, including the $1,400 stimulus checks. See a breakdown of the bill on NewsNationNow.com. Today marks 56 years since Bloody Sunday. That's when civil rights protesters clashed with state troopers in Selma, Alabama. A virtual event to honor the day will include remarks from President Joe Biden, Reverend Jesse Jackson, and Al Sharpton, among others. During his speech, Biden this morning is expected to announce an executive order directing federal agencies to take a series of steps to promote voting access. Here's the latest on Pope Francis's trip to Iraq, his first visit to the country. Today, the Pope is visiting northern Iraq, where he led prayers in the ruins of churches damaged or destroyed by Islamic State extremists. The Pope will also celebrate an open-air mass. The Vatican hopes the landmark visit will rally the country's Christian communities and encourage them to stay despite decades of war and instability. The Pope is expected to return to the Vatican tomorrow. An alert for pet owners, a popular flea and tick collar linked to nearly 1,700 dog and cat deaths. An investigation found that more than 75,000 complaints about the, Siri, about the Soresto brand of flea and tick collars have been sent to the Environmental Protection Agency. The collars use two types of pesticides to kill fleas and ticks. The EPA said the collars are safe, but that some pets may be sensitive to the pesticide combination. News Nation reached out to the agency about the reporting, but has yet to receive a response. Happening tonight, Team LeBron and Team Durant will face off in the NBA All-Star Game in Atlanta. The COVID-19 pandemic, of course, is forcing some changes to the traditional weekend. This year, the game will also showcase and celebrate historically black colleges and universities, traditions and culture. Tip-off starts at 8 Eastern, 7 Central. And trending this morning, millions are expected to watch Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's first interview since Megxit. Their departure from royal duties began in March 2020 and was finalized this year. Clips released ahead of the airing suggest that at least Meghan will have some pointed criticisms of royal life. Meanwhile, on Wednesday, the palace said it was launching a human resources investigation after a London newspaper reported that a former aide had accused Meghan of bullying staff in 2018. Thank you so much for watching News Nation Now. Stay with us throughout the day for breaking news coverage here on our app and website. And of course, be sure to tune in tonight for our broadcasts. Start your morning with News Nation. Top headlines and trending stories delivered straight to your inbox for free. Go to newsnationnow.com newsletter to sign up.